Hey guys, so this is different, I know. Um, have hubby in the car. And I was thinking about starting some sort of like car chat series maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I just um, turned on the camera. It occurred to me now that since I drive to work that maybe I can vlog sometime on the way to work. So that's what I'm doing, I'm on my way to work. And I didn't say you always drive to work. I said I have to drive to work. But um, so we're in the car and we were talking about do y'all have y'all been watching what's it called OJ the, the people, people versus OJ Simpson? First off, it was like the best show on TV. Well, it was on TV hands down because now it's he over. Wasn't gonna watch it if it wasn't for me. Whatever. It wasn't. I was like, like it was good. Hear you. So what? Probably can't even hear you. I, I'm talking. I can't scream. That's why I can't do this. Thing. But anyway, I can't. What you want me to scream? No, you just need to speak louder and not mumble. Anyway, <clears throat> like I said, I was watching it. I said that when I first seen it, that it was gonna be a great show. You didn't think so? I didn't say it wasn't gonna be a great show. I just hadn't gotten a chance to watch it, and you started watching it before. No, I'm talking about even when the previews was out. I think I was talking about it looked like it's gonna be good, and I was like, you should watch this with me. You're like, oh, okay, I guess. You did? That's what I say about everything. But so anyway, we were having a discussion about um, just the, all my shows that I say are great. End up being the greatest show ever. Just okay. We were having a discussion about OJ because it just went off. And OJ was, first, like I said, first off, best show that was on TV at the moment, hands down. Um, and it's so funny because it's like you want to watch these shows, even though you already know the outcome. Like the last episode, obviously, the season finale is when he got acquitted. You already knew the outcome, but you just had to watch anyway. Yeah, it's like the, to learn all the, be the cool behind the scenes stuff, stuff that you never knew. Like, I always thought Marsha Clark slept with Darden, but I guess they didn't sleep together, so. But y'all know the book that came out of, you don't know what they did. Yeah, that's true. But, so, um, yeah, and I was really, uh, and he's right, the behind the scenes stuff is what was really intriguing. Because I was a very, very, very young, oh my God, this is such a bumpy road, y'all. So you can hear that, sorry. But I was very, very, very young when OJ, um, when all this happened. So, I mean, in grade school, I was really super young, so. I was in grade school too, so. Don't try to man. No, you I was in grade school. I was in like the, the sixth grade. Well, I guess I was in middle school. Middle school. Okay, whatever. You're all right. I think it was seventh grade. Okay, seventh grade, whatever. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't okay. that old. Anyway, but, but well, most of us, we were really young when all this stuff was happening. So obviously, you don't know all about what's going on. And all I knew was that OJ was supposed to beat the case. In my mind, this is what I heard from people and what I picked up on was that OJ was supposed to beat the case because he's black. And first off, if you grew up in a black household, especially maybe not, not more so, so much today, but maybe like more so back in like the 90s or whatever, if you grew up in a black household, then everybody on TV, if they were black, they were supposed to win. Like even on game shows, y'all root for the person. black people, like y'all parents told y'all to root for the black people. That's I'm how it was. I, I feel like that's person. what I, I don't feel like I remember them verbally saying you have to root for the black people, but I feel like that's what I picked up on as a child, uh -oh. that I was supposed to root for the black people. Even on Salute Your Shorts, and, not Salute Your Shorts, but Guts and stuff like that, I rooted for the black kids. But you pick up on that somewhere. Somebody, you heard that, or you not even maybe not even heard it, just, but you saw it subconsciously. I think you just want your people to win. But who is your people at like seven or eight or you don't know who your people is? My black people. That's what I'm saying. But you I'm heard saying. that or you saw it subconsciously that okay, we're not all the same. So I want you know what I'm saying. I feel like that's just a subconscious thing, especially with with black households. And so. All I knew, like I said, all I knew was that OJ was supposed to beat the case. I didn't know why. I didn't know what for. And I remember telling him when they, they read the verdict because they played the verdict um, in my classroom. They played the verdict. And I remember telling him, I distinctly remember them like switching to a clip after they read the verdict. I distinctly remember them switching to a clip of Ron Goldman, the other guy that got killed. Ron Goldman's people and they were crying and I was wondering like well why are they crying? It's supposed to be a happy time. 
why why are they crying? He didn't do it. And, and now I know because OJ was guilty as fuck. He wasn't guilty. But, um, Where was he yeah. guilty at? Where was he guilty at? You want, really? Why was there only, a, like I said, there's a lot of key points. Why was there only a little drop of blood on his sock, on his, in his car, at his home? There's only a little drop of blood. The blood, his, the blood was, the blood on his glove wasn't saturated. The, the glove wasn't saturated in blood. It may, I mean, look, I can't say that he's definitively not guilty, but I can't say that he's definitively was guilty. Marsha Clark and them didn't do enough to present their case. Even though, even though Mark Furman's racist ass was the one that found the, the glove and stuff, I still believe that OJ is guilty as the shit. I definitely do. Like, nigga's guilty. It is what it is. I, don't, like I, said, I, I, don't, I think he's guilty as shit. I don't personally think, I mean, what made him guilty, and I think in today's day and age, and like the one dude pointed out on the show, ain't nobody trying to hear about DNA back in the 90s. That was something that was new. So nowadays, if something like that was presented the way she presented with that one in 34 billion and one in 12 billion. And so you agree you would have voted guilty? In today's day and age, I probably would have. I would have been the first. I would have been the only black person back in our deliberation guilty. And they'd have been raiding the chump me. Because I'd have been like, this nigga's guilty. What are we doing? Like I said, back in the day, though, we don't hear the Why are we even discussing this? Why did it even take us four hours? This nigga's guilty. But at the same time, like I said, man, I mean, you could go to somebody's house and leave a microfiber to be able to, for it to be found later. Like, we had a bunch of people at our house when we was moving. When we was moving and stuff, and that don't mean then they could find a fr you, you could have ended up dead. They could be like, oh, uh, Quinn is a, a a person of interest in this or something, just because they found a piece of lint from his hair or something. Guilty. Like I said, you just gotta present your case, and they didn't do a great enough job. I think they presented it. I think it was one. I think a lot of it was background information that had nothing to do with the case. That's a lot of it was background stuff. That's what killed their case was background stuff that had to do with Come the Come on, Mark Furman being a racist is background information? I'm not talking about that. Oh. I'm talking about we're in the 1990s in Los Angeles. One, I don't know why in the hell they thought it was a good idea to have the case set in Los Angeles. They didn't. When they, no, yes, no. they did. They tried to have it in Santa Monica. No, that's because Cochran won to take it to LA. He won that appeal. He wanted to take it to LA. I thought she said she didn't. Marsha said, I thought that was Marsha's idea initially before even Cochran got on the case. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was something like that because she yeah. cause she, cause she said if he lost to Santa Monica, it was open up for appeal because yeah. it wouldn't have been a, and it wouldn't have been a jury of his peers. It would have been 12 white people. Regardless, I, that, but that's what I'm saying. I, I understand, but I just don't under, like one, to have it in LA, to have that case set in LA where you talking about all this stuff is going down. The LAPD is already hated. Black people are already fired up. You're talking about this happens after the Rodney King, after all of this stuff. And you want to have this case set in LA? That didn't make any sense from the beginning. Like, that's, that's like where I, OJ won. Said, like I said, they would have won. They a jury won of black here. people? But that's a jury. That's that's the what his peers is black people. He's a black man. That. That's a jury of his peers. I know that, but there was no way you was gonna win at that time. Set in L.A. with all that stuff going on, there was no way you were okay, gonna win so, with a jury so of black the, people. So Regardless, they could have. O.J. could have stood up and said he was guilty. They'd have been like, "No, nah, they coerced that nigga to say that he's innocent." Don't keep dropping the N word on it. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying. What I'm saying is this: like she said, that just opened. So they would just would have to do the trial twice because they would have just been like, "This wasn't." a jury of his peers and they would have to do the trial all over again uh, who wants to do that I that's why she that. that's why she wanted to keep where she lost was she didn't pick strong enough jurors that she knew had her back she lost all her jurors that's what happened because she had a you know a strong jury and they Johnny kept Johnny X out all her jurors <laughs> and she had a pretty strong jury but that's a nice house over here some decent houses oh, yeah, on this little so They just started building all these. Oh. Yeah, they, well, not just started. They started. My uncle moved out of here back in, was that like 04? So, yeah, like 04, 05, they started building. So, these houses ain't that almost, that, well, almost 10 years old, maybe. So, I take public transportation to work. I know I told you guys this before, but I did get a new job like three or four weeks ago. 
and this is my fourth week at it and so I still take public transportation to work but I have to drive to get to the public transport. Oh, I'm not doing that today though. The rap station? Yeah. What are you talking about? I know because I was thinking I was going to rap station to be behind the rap station because I was going to work. But. Why would you think that I'm sitting right here? Because I wasn't thinking. Because I go to rap station every day. I don't know. We have the window mirror and it's just in my head. I'm not going to in the back of the window mirror right now. But regardless. But um. Yeah, so I, I take tra public transportation to work on most days, but I have to drive to get to the public transportation. And so, like, the rapid, it's, it's called the rapid, it's like a train. Well, I don't take the train, though. I'm at, we, I park at the train station, but I take a bus to get to work. And so, the train station is, like, not in the best neighborhood so the at all. Back in the middle of East Cleveland. In the Everybody. middle of the hood. So, yeah. Oh, that's that guy. <laughs> Who was that guy? You know. Is that the one with the coat? Huh? Is that the one with the coat? No, that's. I was, I was being funny. Oh. Oh, he's one of those guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll send the names on camera. But the guy who be healing people with his coat. With his coat? You ain't seen the guy who be slinging his coat around and he be no. making people fall and they be healed? You no. ain't seen that? Oh, yeah. A long distance healing? No, don't you be about? smacking people with his coat. I'm going to have the, the shade room posted. You, you have to check that, it out. That Martin episode. I gave her a long distance healing. Yeah. I gave my pain a long distance healing. It was $150 or something <laughs> like that. Oh my god. Well, yeah, you gotta check the shade room got it and then shade room and posted up like I need that coat. And he's just smacking people with his coat. Y'all be following the shade room. They have all of the tea, okay? All of it. I be so nosy, I'm like, I gotta eat my life together. I be all in people's business, celebrity business. Yeah, like you know them people. I know. We glued to the glued the Black Ink Crew last night. I'm trying to talk to you. You don't even hear me talking to you. Y'all watch Black Ink Crew? That is my show. Like I've been watching this since the very beginning. I don't even know how I got into it because I wouldn't have thought I would have liked a show about a tattoo shop. But you like all this reality crap. Oh my God, Black Ink Crew is so good though. I have to go get a tat from Black Ink one day. Why? Like, I am going to Harlem to get a tat from Why? Black Ink because I love their work. You can get that They're same. actually really talented we got people. Some, we got some really good tattoo artists right here in Cleveland. They're actually really talented people, and I want to go get a tattoo. If you want to drop, if you want to drop what you want to drop there, you can drop half of that here and get just the quality of a tattoo. Are you done? I'm just saying you don't dad? have to go to you don't have to go to Harlem. Yes, I am, Dad. Cause you're gonna be spending my money down there or part of my money down there. So yes, you don't need to go to Harlem. What's his name? Who? The dude you like? That's your so much you want to get a tattoo from? Oh, Caesar. Yeah, you don't have to go see Caesar to get a, a tattoo. I want to go see Caesar or Oh Shit do real good work. <laughs> oh Shit do real good work. It's cold. It's still kicking my ass, man. Where is we? Oh, it's a rally style. We said that when we drove past here when I first when I was showing you where you're gonna be working at. Did we? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You don't never remember nothing. So why didn't I ever drive to this? This is the new one. It's a new rally. Yeah, I, I, we said that when we rolled past it a few weeks ago. We I was going to say, why did I never have to drive to that rally to get buzz when it's right around the corner from 105? I'm sure, and I went all the way to Buckeye. I just, we just had this East discussion because I just was saying how last time I was over here, which has been a long time because I ain't been to the hood in a minute, is that um, I had never seen that rally. They put a rally and something else over there. Oh. I was just talking about that. You don't, I don't mean you can't remember a conversation we just had a few weeks ago about uh, it. Look, I don't. Okay. Obviously, I'm driving back to there. That was all them houses and apartments and stuff. That was too much. Oh no, they smoothed it over. Look at that. These Cleveland do do some work. They do actually work down here. I swear there's been, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what what's this built. supposed to be? I don't know. There's got to be something. And that was, that's like for electricity, right? That's what you would think. Solar. They say solar yeah. right there. I remember when they first tore down, these used to be apartments right here. I remember when they first tore this down. Yeah, because next door to it, like the building right next door to it used to be a juvenile jail facility. That's my brother. Look at this car lot. Who going to buy it? Back well, in the day. Say well. 
said back in the day. I'm gonna buy a car. Oh, somebody, yeah, you know what? My somebody would buy a car from there. And then they'll be coming to see me in a few weeks because it broke down. So, these people. You want how much for that? Anyway. Yeah, so I'm happy that you um enjoy some real TV when I make you watch real TV. Like, it was that building. Like real actors, you know, who go to school to be actors and actresses. Cause they all, oh man, back to OJ. They all played the shit out of their parts. Like, I mean, first off, they they look like them a lot. Of, like they looked like them, and exactly they all like played the shit out of those parts. Courtney B. Vance, Angela Bassett was probably like, yes, baby. Courtney B. Vance was killing it as um, Johnny Cochran, and uh, of course. And you said, is the same Cuba? Is Cuba or Cuba? Cuba, Cuba right? Cuba like, this, like the country. Cuba Gooden Jr. Yeah. Of course, Cuba was amazing. And he's the only one who didn't look like the person that he yeah, was playing. He was the he only did. one who didn't look like the person. But he was, uh, he was amazing, hands down. Um, John Travolta, he's an amazing actor. He was amazing. Even um, um, the dude Shapiro. from Friends. Even the dude from Friends. Oh, yeah, was Rob good. Kardashian. Or Chandler from Friends. I don't know his real name, but he was amazing um, as Rob Kardashian. So, you know, what scene got me the most out of out of all that from the acquittal to um, from the acquittal to the whole even the play out of the show. Like the most like climactic scene to me was the last scene. I thought they did that perfectly when he realized. That he wasn't a white dude no more. It wasn't a black guy who was had white friends. He was just a, a um, black dude now. That was good. He was so out of place with all those black people at the last party. Did y'all see that? <laughs> he was so out of place. And it was like <clears throat> all of those people that he thought were his friends were gone. And it just shows you how, I mean, maybe not today, but it just shows you how bad. I, let me see how to put this. It just shows you how much race plays a factor when you don't even realize it is playing a factor. And like I said, maybe not so much today. Maybe so much today. I don't know. Um, but I don't think it's as bad, obviously, as the mid-90s or early 90s when you're talking about race relations. But... I just thought that scene, I thought that scene was really deep for the fact that, like, it was like... <clears throat> I mean, he was asking throughout the whole show, where are all my golf buddies? Right. Where are all my friends on the police force? Where are all those people? Um, once that case set in, he was just another... A black man. N-word. Just another black man. And he found that out the hard way. It was like, it was like, all right, well, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And all those people who was pulling for him had no idea... Well, the people in his, the people who really knew OJ, like when they did this little behind the scene thing that they did on E60, a lot of them people talked about how OJ left and never came back and never did nothing for the community. Not to be bashing OJ or nothing, but how he never, how he left, never did nothing. For, not saying that you gotta do anything for your community. Me and CC had these talks all the time, but basically he just didn't identify with black. You're people. not obligated to do anything for anybody, but don't feel don't be upset or don't feel weird when you don't have their support backing you either which like I keep saying especially at that point in time it don't matter who OJ was the only thing that mattered to black people was that he was a black man especially in that setting and he was going against the LAPD yeah we just wanted to win we had lost on camera video footage of a, of a black man being beat and we lost and it was like alright well I can say we because I identify with black people. I know I get, but yeah, we that just wanted to win one. It was like we didn't care how bad it looked or whatever. It was like no, we got this racist cop. We've already lost to racist cops once. We need to win this one. That's all. They it could have been it could have been Osama bin Laden up there, and if his name was John Smith and he was black, he would they would have been pulling for him too. That's why I say OJ could have stood up and been like, uh, I'm guilty. And they would have been like, uh, he's a lie. Sit down. You're still innocent. That's what would have happened. And I, I mean, uh, it is what it is. Like, I mean, I you knew OJ that was, was guilty, but I feel yeah. like you knew that was going to happen. I do. But I feel like you knew that was going to happen. I mean, you had people with signs when he was on the freeway 
running. You had people with signs talking about go OJ go. They didn't know the situation. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't. I mean, you know, back then, obviously, there's no social media. So all um, you going off of is news outlets and you know his his people, whatever that dude name was, Malcolm Jamal Warner played. His people Ace. call yeah Ace. Ace. His Ace. people calling in, calling into the um the police station, telling them what they wanted. That was the only the only communication they had with OJ. So like like I said, it wasn't no social media. OJ oh, couldn't have posted on Instagram or Facebook and nothing like that. Like it, it that's all they had. Well, and no, so actually, that actually they talked about that's part of that series I was telling you I watched. Where they talked about um, ABC, ABC, NBC, and Fox. This was the first time. This was actually during the NBA Finals when he did that. And the executive producer, or whoever you want to call it, who run ABC with the channel, Channel 5, that the, the NBA Finals, like Game 2 of the NBA Finals being broadcasted on. And he had to make a decision. Every other news outlet was, was flashing to the... To the, the oh yeah, I saw that. We, yeah. They showed that little clip, and, they, and he was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah, he was like, like, "You gotta change." You gotta change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw they flashed to that, and it was like, this like is I the said, NBA final. Uh, I mean, the news, the news channels to follow the car, <laughs> but they didn't know what. But what I'm trying right. to say is, nobody knew what was going on Boom. inside the car. He could have been holding AC hostage. Hell, we didn't know. But people was just outside right. with signs like "Go OJ, go!" Like that just let you know the tone of the city and oh, what yeah. was about to go down. Oh yeah. Sad, but even um, like I said, that was another drum climactic scene. Is when uh, Johnny Cochran was watching Bill Clinton. When Bill Clinton said, "Well, maybe we need to start looking at it from both sides," and we still ain't hit that point yet. Where you get we get into arguments. People, I know you didn't gotten to your fair share of arguments on Facebook and other social media outlets. I know I have, and with people who just don't understand. Like they still think it's not different to be black in America. It's, I mean, I don't know. Um, so I mean, I think it's race relations in America. It's sad that we're what was that twenty years ago that we're talking about something twenty years ago and we're still having the same issues with police and minorities and we're still having these same and conversations. Not understanding that it's different to be. I ain't gonna say completely black, but black or under what's the community, uh, urban community. I say urban community because you got some people who not black who get targeted by by police as well. But it's a problem, and people don't understand it. And we're going through the same thing that we were going through 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and we're going through the same thing just in a more sophisticated form because you know obviously times have changed, but now we can actually document these things before it was hearsay there was no no everybody wasn't walking around with cameras and everything like that so you couldn't document these things it was hearsay now it's right in your face and we're still having these same conversations and so it just is it just shows goes to show you how far if at all we've come and i i mean yeah i get that all the time too but i get like to talking to some people they'd be like we have, oh, a black we have a black president. Oh, everybody's that. favorite line. I we have a black that. president. <laughs> okay. What does that have to do with anything? That doesn't mean we came that far just because we have a black president. I am late. Jeez. What's these damn cars though? They can't go. Oh, well, I'm this is, this is what happens in University Circle. Why you gotta leave early? But yeah y'all so i just wanted to get on camera for a little bit if you guys like these types of videos definitely let me know give me a thumbs up um and comment down below and let me know um if there's any other topics you want me to tackle or anything like that or i can just come on here and talk and we can just hang out so just let me know what you guys like if you like this at all on my channel and i think that's it for this one because i'm almost at work i'm a little bit late i suppose we there at 8 30 it's 8 30 831 just turned right now <laughs> so but i'm not there you the boss so anyway um i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye guys oh let me know what you think about oj please let let me know what you think about oj do yeah, you think no he's sense. innocent do you yeah, think he's no guilty sense. what did you think about the show overall <laughs> i'd love to know your thoughts because i was so enthralled in the show like i was waiting on it every Sad week that it's over. i know really i was like dang can he kill somebody else we can have a part two no season two <laughs> all right i'm just playing <laughs>
<laughs> no, for real. They didn't kill nobody anyway. Hold no, on. for real though. Let me know what you guys think about the show overall and about anything that we're talking about. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. You gonna say bye?